Hey everybody, Scrap and Salvage here with another vintage clothing haul. So let's show you some of the things we found. Starting off here is this uh, Gunny Sacks by Jessica. It's kind of like a Victorian era style dress from the 70s. And uh, yeah, these bring some good money. I've sold some of them in the past, but um, Gunny Sacks by Jessica, San Francisco. And a uh, great uh, style dress. That was a good find. Moving on, just like 50, 60 shirt, loop collar. Needs a button repair, but um, very soft. Like the plaid, cool shirt, thought that was neat. This is like another 50s dress. Needs an iron, of course. Got a few condition issues, but it's probably more of a homemade style dress, but uh, great color. These, I, these couple items I found in an old trunk. I think they're all handmade. This is kind of like a costume. I don't even know what you'd call it, but I just grabbed it with a lot goes around the waist and you just yeah, pin it on almost like it looks ballet-esque but uh just grabbed it same with these skirts just some skirts from the 50s and 60s um just grab them together price was right also this kind of like prom cocktail dress grab that looks homemade to me but uh nope it's not i'm wrong Lori deb San Francisco. Hmm. Anyway, very nice dress. A great color. A blue. I found this other dress. This is, didn't realize it had a tag by Jay Herbert of California. What I think I thought was really cool is these little polka dots on it. It's got this um, kind of brownish, reddish tooling with the black dots on it. Just thought it was really sweet. This was in that trunk as well. Has a couple condition issues, but uh, a little bit of cleaning and whatnot could be really nice. What is it? Uh, Venezuelan Canaima Salto Angel. It's like a probably one of their natural wonders of Venezuela. Cool waterfall looking. Cool vintage tea. Hecho in Venezuela shirt in a large. F. This is a uh, looks like a woman's um, Letterman sweater v-neck with Lind. And then also found this one. If 53. I believe that's a Burbank Bulldogs from local area around here city to us they have a good look to them cool sweaters you got this uh, customized lee riders denim jacket um from the 50s and 60s um has some condition issues needs a little repair but someone had taken and customized the collar with this purple corduroy and leather and also it's got a few rust color corduroy kind of cool i don't know if it was more just making their own statement piece or creative design work or covering up holes. Denim is always really good. These Lee Riders jacket from like the 50s, 60s. A lot of them had the inner like kind of like lining in there that was kind of like a soft wooler kind of lining. You know, movie stars wore, wore these. Paul Newman and HUD and different things and very collectible. It's a great find. This is uh, by Cry Wolf, Arizona. Looks like a Pendleton blanket style. Fortunately it's not, but still very soft. Material, I love these um, 30s Indian head buffalo uh, buttons on them. That's cool. I mean, I believe that, you know, 64 and before is silver, so I'm pretty sure that's a silver. So that's cool. Has some condition issues. The moth holes, little moth is have eaten kind of different, some of the fabric, but very soft, just got a great look to it. And uh, I know these, even in worse condition, you know, condition is not so good. They do bring a little, command a little money. So this is a fun find. Moving on, this is the kind of like a, a newer kind of military-esque kind of little zip-up jacket. So flight jacket, thought that was cool, reversible with the orange inside. Um, let's grab that. Haven't seen one of those in a while, so I thought that was kind of neat. Man, if you could sport this for Halloween, you'd be groovy. It's like 70s polyester woman's top. Really vibrant colors. H bar C long tail California ranch wear. It's got this nice embroidery work in it. Polyester top snap button. Probably from the 70s. And this one looks probably from the same area, maybe 60s. Trail Ridge Western shirt. I like the little design it had in these little snap buttons. Kind of cool. A good look. So we've got a couple, um, as of the cost, uh, 70s, 60s, 70s zip ups, polyester dresses. Kind of like a mini skirt mod look to them. Kind of cool. And then this last one is this uh, button up, as of the cost. I also got with this lot of, of lady stuff a Vera uh, dress with like a lime on it. Had a, just a great look to it. 
put that up on eBay, sold that thing within an hour. I got some good money for it. Vera Newman is her full name. The designer for different things. I even have some hand towels that she designed and, and tablecloths. If you see Vera dresses, buy those. They, they do command some money. Got these new old stock Saddleman poly jeans in a boot cut by Levi's. So these are pretty cool. And also, these look barely worn, but um, they've been hemmed up. Same thing, Saddleman Levi's. I have a little hem in them, but fun find there. And then moving on, some 501 jeans, probably from the 80s, 32 2. Some of these have some condition issues. This one's probably the worst of the lot, but button fly. Some more Levi's button flies, 501s. I bought this whole lot. Uh, this, this sale had a ton of jeans, and it was like people were just grabbing. And uh, I, there wasn't enough time to really sit there and look too much at the jeans for selvage. But um, so these are probably, you know, late 80s, potentially 90s jeans. But uh, yeah, uh, most of the stuff I'm going to take to the swap meet. A few, a few of the better condition ones I'll put, on, put online. I'll, I'll list the description below in, in a link. I'm not sure if these are 505s or 501s, but still button fly. Nice pair of jeans. Moving on. Some of them have a little more condition issues but that's what you get when you're just grabbing these i believe are 505s but still kind of still a nice jean and last but not least these 501s these are the best pair we got here these are selvedge but a later later selvedge i'm assuming just after 85 somewhere in there but uh, always nice to see that so this was a good little score kids pair of cowboy boots not super aged but still fun and uh, I don't know how, I don't know if, I'm assuming this is a military denim or Navy denim um, laundry sack. It doesn't look super old. I have had some of these other ones that look a little more aged. But nonetheless, this is still, with this little rope, definitely looks military. But um, yeah, these are these are desirable. Sold those in the past. So anytime you see those, grab those. A couple of new old stock Guayabara shirts. Probably from the 80s. Into that. And then last but not least, this cool World War II. Um, it's probably a, um, a gas mask bag. But I love how the guy just modified it to make it bigger. And because uh, normally the button clicks in there. But I uh, thought that was kind of cool. A little shoulder strap. Someone can use this for a little day bag. And uh, put your water and foodies in there or whatnot. Make it a purse even if, you, if, you, if that's your thing. But um, I always buy these. They do always sell. So this was a clothing haul this week. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you next time.